What is up, idols? Shakim Bao here, and welcome to my first ever video. I just woke up today feeling like, hey, why don't I do a body weight workout? Which I can share to my friends because I know that people would like to start with their fitness journey, and I'm also restarting my fitness journey after a really long hiatus from the gym or taking the fitness journey seriously, which happens to everyone. It's it's hard to start again but it's okay because it's never too late to start or to start again in my case the body weight workout that i planned for today is just eight different workouts just to target as much as possible the entire body and then i'm planning to do it tabata style doing the workout for 20 seconds with 10 second rest in between so let's go oh by the way i forgot to mention that i'm wearing gym clothes from top to bottom as you can see even my socks and I just want to highlight the importance of this because it's like telling your mind that hey you might not be in the gym and you're probably just at home but since you're doing a workout you gotta take it seriously no matter where you are so just that the workouts that I'll be doing today are first backward lunges and then push-ups and then burpees and then plank combo skaters H-worm jump squats and finally tricep dips and if you want to do the same things then feel free to screenshot right now anyway to facilitate the workout I have also downloaded an app called Tabata you can download any app of your choice to help you in this workout but you can adjust the settings for everything so that you have a timer for everything like initial countdown warm-up interval exercise interval rest interval etc etc and I've also set this to eight sets for the number of sets. All right, okay, let's go. All right, already started the timer, but before the actual exercise, I am warming up to prepare my muscles and to prevent injuries. As you can see, I'm already sweating buckets here because to be honest, I already warmed up and did six rounds of this workout. <laughs> anyway, dynamic movements are better than static stretches for warming up. Uh, I'll probably create another video for a full body warm up and let me know if you did that. Okay, let's start with the Tabata workout. First up, lunges. The more you lean, the more glute focused it will be, and the more vertical you descend, the more quad dominant it becomes. But what's important is that you keep your back straight and don't let your knee go past your toes. Alright, 10 seconds to rest, and next up is push ups. So for the push-ups, your hands should be wider than your torso, obviously. So maybe shoulder width or even wider. Ideally, when you bend your shoulders, your chest should align with your hands and that your arms create a 45 degree angle to your body. And obviously, I'm not in perfect form. I can't go any lower. Sorry guys, I'm already tired. Now we do our burpees. This is everyone's favorite sarcastic anyway you squat while your hands are on the ground so your knees are tucked in then you explosively do a plank and then you jump yeah it's already complicated but some people even do a push-up while they're planking or do high knees while jumping crazy doing a floss right here during my break okay my fun time is over already doing the plank combo right here i don't really work out my abs so I'm already fatigued at this time. Uh, my butt is a little bit high and that's wrong. Mm. Your body should form a straight line from your shoulders to your butt to your ankles. But overall, this is not a bad try. And girl, this is my seventh set already. Next up is skaters. So skaters is like just putting your other leg in the opposite direction, like extending it far back, and then just simply mimicking a skater's position when they skate. I really don't do these things before. I used to just lift, 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 but I'm a different person now. And then up next is the inchworm. Today's my first time doing an inchworm. So you just mimic how an inchworm moves. So apparently that's how they move if you're trying to mimic them. <laughs> Yeah, I really don't have much expertise with this movement, but to all the experts out there, you can call me out for my form. Okay, jump squats. I actually googled if it's jump squats 
or squat chumps. I don't know, I got confused, but apparently both are correct. I'm more comfortable saying jump squats though. Anyway, they're simply doing a squat and then you jump off the floor and then you land into a squat again and just repeating the movement. And then I grabbed a chair to do tricep dips or chair dips. I positioned my palms hip width away from each other. And then I'm lowering myself down, ensuring that the flexion is coming from my elbows and not my hips. You can also bend your knees to make it easier because I struggled with my legs extended like that. But I am done. that's the end of my workout actually what you saw there is already my seventh set because I struggled looking for the right angle and proper lighting for you guys but anyway what's important is we got there if you plan to do the same workout just repeat the same thing for as many times as you want and I guess the moral lesson of my story is that you have to keep pushing yourself until you get there because in this fitness journey you will really encounter a lot of struggles, a lot of challenges, temptations, even excuses. So we just have to keep pushing ourselves. You know I only planned to do three rounds but I ended up doing seven. So kaya naman pala. So just keep pushing yourself past your breaking point. Sama-sama tayo dito na nagsisimula ulit or yung iba nagsisimula pa lang. It's all right. So that's the end of my first ever vlog. I hope that you enjoyed watching it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! By the way, please like the video and leave a comment. Also, if you want to see more of me, just hit the subscribe button. That is it. See you again, idols. Never mind.